All right, so I want to show you a fun effect for using a photo cube as a tool for um, interviewing SMEs or providing some sort of branching scenario example in your e-learning courses, right? So photo, photo boxes, photo cubes are kind of popular for family photos, but you could actually use the basic isometric feature from within PowerPoint 2007 to create something similar where when the learner clicks each of the photos, they can branch to a specific slide and they can learn more about, you know, that specific uh, department or or what that person has to say. So I want to show you how you can set this up. And I just set up a really quick example for each of these nine um, uh, photos. But just to start, right, we can basically create a really quick one. Let me just zoom this out uh, with three photos. So all we really need are three examples to build one. Okay, so we'll work with each of these. What we want to do is just right click on one of them and choose format picture. And then from the 3D rotation, we want to work with, well, one of two, two rows, right? We can work with this first one, which is isometric left down, isometric right up, and then top. And that'll give us one perspective. Or we can work with the off-axis one. I'm going to work with the off-axis one. It just turns it over there. I can keep this window open, which is really great for production. I'll select the second photo. And since I selected that one, one left, I'll just do one right. Bring that in right there. And then for this one on the top, I can go ahead and select off axis one top, and that's it, right? So that's not a lot to do. So let me go ahead and just close that real quick. All I wanna do now is just sort of use my arrow keys to move them into place. And we now have a photo cube. Now the way I got the example that I showed up here with multiple is I just continued to duplicate them. So let's just say that in this example, this we wanted to do something like that. I could continue bringing in other images. So right, so in this case, format picture, 3D rotation. I want to copy that same effect, so I can just select this one and do one off. And then I can continue just using my arrow keys to align them because they all have the same perspective, right? So now it looks kind of like the box is open on that side and I can continue adding images. So a fun effect, super easy. Now let me show you this, in order to, change each of these, right? So the whole idea was this was an office and then you click each of these and it goes to another theme, right? So once you have it set up, you can just right click each image in PowerPoint 2007, select change picture, and let's go ahead and change it with another one, right? So I would just change it on each character or at each SME's uh, slide to kind of create that consistent um, visual right there. And of course, it could be something else as well, but that's just how I changed them. But then you just create one for each of your photo cubes. So you can kind of create, you know, a single photo cube, like a large one, and create a couple of those, or you can actually make uh, multiple smaller cubes from within a, uh, a photo cube. So fun effect, very simple, and uh, hope you have fun with it.